Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically, I'm going to be doing like a holiday haul. Like, basically, Superdrug and. Is it Superdrug and Tesco haul? And yeah. Because there was a few bits I needed to grab for my holiday. Let's try and block that light. There's a few things I needed to grab for my holiday, and I hadn't bought them. I just hadn't had time and also I was waiting until I got paid. That light is going to annoy me and everyone who's watching. There we go. And <laughs> yeah, basically there was some stuff I needed to buy. All that sort of stuff. And yeah. Let's just kind of get into what I got. I'm sorry about the light in the background. Also, I'm trying to pop you up here because my phone is literally on 3%. But I want like a holiday haul video before I kind of go away. Also, this bag. Terrible. It broke on me when I was 10 minutes away from home. And the thing is, I hadn't realised. And so I had to go and walk back because one item was literally like... He had fallen out so far, like not far away, like it was only like a minute or two, but still, it was far. What the hell is that sound that I can hear? Anyway, I'll briefly mention the uh juice burst basically on the way back home i popped into tesco because i needed an item for my holiday plus i wanted to buy a tesco meal deal so i got this as a drink it was really good what the hell can i hear Or is it like the washing machine? But it doesn't sound like it. Anyway. Oh no, people are home. I also grabbed, I went into, now Primark. I went into Primark. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's Primark haul as well. Forgot to mention that. I picked up the Primark Home hair wrap. I picked it up as I was going through checkout, sort of thing. Because I don't want to use like a large towel for my hair. So, yeah. People are home, so I'll finish this later. One hour later. Okay, so seeing as I kind of stashed in this position, I kind of thought, might as well do it. Like, I might as well continue because why not? Like,. <clears throat> It's a little bit more personal, like, and I am going to vlog the window for you. So yeah, <clears throat> what I'll do is that. So yeah. Last thing I mentioned was Primark, so we're going to continue with Primark. Next, I did I mention the cost of what I bought? No. The juice burst, obviously, I said was part of a meal deal. So, yeah. Which, did I mention I got the cheese and tomato pasta? And then a 10 calorie raspberry jelly. Probably did. But, yeah. Obviously, Tesco meal deal, three pounds. And then, that hair wrap was 2 50 Then I picked up a four pack of thongs for two pounds because with some of the stuff I'm wearing on holiday, like there's a play suit that I've got that is flat. 
my pants could show so because it's quite cheeky so i got thongs and i only got shoe ones because my mother doesn't really approve of thongs but i quite like them even though i don't really wear them because it then gives me a wedgie and it's like ugh but yeah they were two pounds i feel like i've got food in my teeth i have just had pizza by the way trying to live a healthy lifestyle but then again pizza wasn't my idea i originally i tested detested to it like i did like i just didn't want it at first but after eating healthy for the whole week i i'm using that as my naughty treat but yeah Then from Primark, I picked up this pair of pyjama shorts. <clears throat> Obviously, as you can see, they're quite see-through, but if you're only going to wear them in bed and, like, you don't, like, you sit in bed, like, you, like you'll get into your pyjamas and you'll sit in bed and that's it. And then, like, you'll go to bed, then it's obviously alright. And it's a really comfy material. I've never worn them as you can see, got the tag on. I literally bought all of this today. But yeah, I kind of wanted this. Like, I like the whole polka dots sort of thing and I thought it really cute and I don't have any like shorts. Like, I don't have any pyjama shorts. So yeah. And this was... I want to say three pounds? I have my Primark receipt somewhere. Oh yeah, three pounds. This is right at the bottom. The yeah, app, cheap, affordable, and for the way the summer's going, is it really going to be warm? Am I really going to use them often? But then again, I'd wear them anyway, because that's me. I'm weird like that. <clears throat> and then the final thing I picked up from Primark is the Carmex like moisturizing lip balm in like the kind of like roller so obviously like the stick form yeah because i really wanted like a new lip balm like i've got so many lip balms in here but i wanted a new one like is that normal do other people feel like that yeah probably and this was two pounds obviously comex was expensive but i thought this version might last me longer than the tube. Am I crazy to think that? Probably not. I know I said that was the final thing I bought, but basically I bought a pair of Primark leggings. Obviously, £2.50. Yeah, £2.50. Which, because I needed a new pair, but I think I bought the size too big. Like, usually... Travers, I'm a 10 to 12. I guess medium's more like 12 to 14 though. But I've got like jeans that are size 12 that fit me. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll go for the medium. But I could have got away with small. But oh well. I'll, the leggings are only for kind of like wear in the house. Sort of thing. But yeah. Now, I'll go into... Um, Tesco just because wait I I started with Tesco then I never finished Tesco but yeah I bought five pairs of um the just like the see-through skin colour tights sort of thing it was there's five pairs as you can tell and it was four pounds so less than a pound per pair which is really good i got the thickest like denier you could get which is 15 denier because less chance of me ripping them when i put them on like that's the only pain with them but yeah <clears throat> and they have a reinforced toe and i only know that because i'm reading the back And the thing is, I picked up the lard, 
the large and even though on the back it's not recommended i always find the large just seems to fit me better it's a lot more comfortable for me and i know like a large is for like size 16 to 18 but i always find this fits like i've got large tights they fit and they're from f and f so surely the others are gonna fit like i just find them a lot more comfortable yeah and let's open the box because usually i can kind of tell just by looking at the item i will put these back in the box though because And also the thing is, like, by getting the large, there's less resist, like, there's less pull on it, so I feel like it would last me longer, sort of thing. Like, they're that small anyway, and they're for someone, like, size 16 to 18. Like, I know they stretch, but, mm, but yeah, they're large. But large bits me perfect so yeah as I try and stop this back into the box tell me below what's your favorite song in the moment because I'm currently really enjoying sucker by the Jonas Brothers, like, love that song at the moment. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> now Super Drug. For anyone who's not... Like, for anyone who doesn't know me, is not subscribed to my channel, or just isn't up to date, I've dyed my hair. Or at least I've had highlights. And obviously... Like, I have blonde highlights, and obviously, when you go blonde, over time, your hair become can become grassy. And so, I picked up the LV Purple Shampoo, which retails for £5.50. Like, yeah, I know, expensive, and also, it's only, like, 200ml. I hope this goes far. But, luckily... The, there was a two for six pounds on the L. On, I, th I think it's just LV in general, but it could just be in that range. And so I picked up the conditioner. Obviously, it is only for like a once a week use. Yeah, I brought food in my teeth. Um, I've had my hair for two weeks now, and. When I have a shower tomorrow, I'm going to be using this to kind of get rid of any brassiness that's probably developed. And yeah, get my hair looking all nice for my holiday. Because you guys will probably be watching this as I'm on holiday. Because I'm going to try and edit and export and upload videos. So that literally, all I need to do is try and make a thumbnail. And like, I know I've not been putting much effort into my thumbnails, but then I, again, I've also been liking the simplicity of them. So, yeah. So, yeah, I picked up purple shampoo. Plus, then on my list, I wrote that I wanted a matte red liquid lipstick. And at the moment, there is a two for £10 on any L'Oreal products. And so, I picked up the Brimble Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Firestarter but then I also picked up the Rimmel Stay Satin in the shade Radical and like when you look at them you think they're different but they're not they're literally like the same colour and like even though it's faded a little bit that is Firestarter yeah that's Firestarter really pretty like really pretty because the other one, I don't know if you can tell, but that's where the Stay Satin was. Because I'd always keep pressing it to see like if it was dry. Obviously, it doesn't dry down. So, yeah. I 
hate food in my teeth. Ugh. Did I buy anything else? No. Hmm. Four items from Super Drug. Five from Primark. And then what the hell I bought? Tesco. Yeah. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and this sort of different style setup. I kind of wanted to do this. I thought it'd be fun. Loved it. Not going to do it often, but I loved it. And I hope you guys, in like, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ugh, already said that. If you did, smash a massive thumbs up if you like hauls and that sort of thing. Subscribe to my channel because we are so close to 190. In fact, we're so close to 200 subscribers. So try and get me to that mark. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions of things you want me to try, if you want me to review any of these products, whether it's the shampoo or the lipsticks or even the Carmex or even the thongs, if you want me to review them, let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!